right, so we just watched uh, Jordan Peele's Us. His uh, follow up to Get Out. What, what did you What did you think of the movie? I don't think we should call it a follow up to Get Out. Let's not Let's not talk about it and Get Out in the same breath. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, we can say that they're different movies. They're different, totally. They're um, totally different. Not even in the same category. Uh, it's social commentary, but yeah, that's true. That's it's social commentary and thriller and and, and but not like how Get Out was. No, it's, there's a lot more in Get Out. Is it? I think so. I think it's a lot more that you can understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot more. You're gonna come out with more questions for this movie for us, but uh, that let's needs get to be in credit scene. Well, we don't know. There might be no. I, no, actually, there isn't. But should, you know what they? No, need? nobody said there was. Right. So I don't no, think need, there is. They need an end credit scene with Nick Fury. Um, walking up to Red and being like, you know what? We're starting an initiative. <laughs> oh, oh, a protective, a protective initiative. Right. Or, or it's, or it's the underground Nick Fury. So he's even waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of spoilers in this. It's, uh, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, but we didn't even answer the question. What, what did you think of the movie? Just, I thought it is, was is confusing. It good? Okay, confusing. It's not good. It's not bad. It's confusing. Will it generate a lot of money? Probably. Was it funny when it wasn't supposed to be? Of course. Oh, yeah. Um, Was it scary when it wasn't supposed to be? Not really. I kept my heart kept racing, looking for something to be scary. It didn't happen. It wasn't really scary at all. No. I would say that it is... It's confusing, like you said. But it's not a bad movie. I feel like it's still a good movie with some good points. But... It's, it's, it's hard to say. It's, it's it's a bit of a um, a bit of a head scratcher. Okay, let's talk about individually. What what do you think of the family? Like who? Lovely family, beautiful kids. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't I don't think they're stereotypical at all. You know. No, no. Everybody's um, actually pretty normal no, for the first normal. for the most part no quirks until you watch the movie and you look, go back and look at it and think about it like that kid was a little off wasn't he um yeah but <laughs> little boy yeah um interesting interesting uh, obsession with uh mask um and mm. identities a little bit um i didn't even look at the mask part i mean there's so many other things well yeah i mean it was interesting he kept wearing a mask um, when you could argue that the main character may have been wearing a uh, a mask to a personality. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, it's hard to talk about the movie after you've seen it because there's a whole different. I, I feel like the first half of the movie is a certain thought process. Second half of the movie erases all of the first half of the movie. Yeah, it it, makes... it becomes a different movie. Yeah, it, it makes you look at it differently. It feels like it's supposed to end at night. What? And, and then there's the next day, and the whole movie's different. Oh, okay. I, I didn't see where you were with going. With the night and but... day in the movie. Okay. Like, it feels like a traditional horror film would have ended that night with them walking off, like, get out mm-hmm. um, into the darkness, whatever. They just beat the evil thing. Mm-hmm. But this evil thing, it's not even... It's definitely evil. It kills people, but... Do, do you find yourself rooting for... Uh, somebody different once you see see it all the way through I was rooting for the dad the whole time he's the only consistent character that I was rooting him and the daughter they were unproblematic and they were genuine genuinely confused I feel like he was confused as much as I was confused he was con- he was his own person like he right. right him and the daughter the son had too much freaky he was too close with the thing and then, of course, the mom, who knows what she really is. Uh, you, you um, can go back and forth with that. Right. I like the dad. He was easy to follow. Same with the daughter. Okay. Well, let's start from the beginning. Uh, you the know, beginning was the word. <laughs> I mean, it was the Bible verse. Jeremiah 11, 11. Jeremiah 11, 11. Um, contemporary English version. Um, here is what I've decided to do. I will bring suffering on the people of Judah and Jerusalem, and no one will escape. They will beg me to help, but I will, won't will listen to their prayers. 
which I feel like you could be talking about either side in this movie, those on the surface and those living underground. Yes, well, let's let's talk about that. Um, there's, you know, regular people um, above ground. Right. And then below ground, there's this other civilization right. of people. Who live in the middle of a city, it looks like, in a subway system. <laughs> underground. Underground. <laughs> and all they eat is bunnies. Raw. Uh, which doesn't sound like the greatest thing. Edit that drinking out. But... <laughs> Those gulps. <laughs> My throat was getting a little dry. Uh, 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 uh. Um, but <laughs> which I feel like makes sense because if you think about it, they multiply like crazy, right? Rabbits. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. In so a, they an, would, another thing to think about deeply. Right, and in science, they usually tested it on for different things. So it makes sense if this was some kind of government facility. They would have rabbits that would multiply enough to sustain an entire copy of the U.S. civilization. But do you think the bunnies, like how long, how long can those things last? Seriously, well, they they multiply like crazy. They have like twenty kids a year or something. Like that. Oh, a lot. Yeah, I guess. Did you notice at the beginning that Adelaide? Um, Lupita, she is eating strawberries. Everybody else is I eating. I noticed. I didn't know why. Yeah, everybody else is eating uh, fast, food. fast food. I thought she's being a healthy mom. Yeah. In the beginning, we see that Lupita has a young girl. She wanders off from her parents into this little uh, house of mirrors. We you see that she comes back from this house of mirrors different. and she's different yeah she doesn't speak um and her parents try to seek help they don't know what is wrong with her the movie goes on from there and so you know something's off about her um and she kind of gets over it as an adult except for eating like a rabbit i guess i don't know what maybe she didn't like meat anymore or something she's a vegan she says that no Oh. But wait a minute. Why would that make any sense, though? She doesn't eat meat, but you're eating a rabbit. Right. It doesn't. Because it wasn't relevant. Because this is what Jordan Peele does. He puts things in there. Like, for example, in Get Out, the cereal thing, the colored and, and, mm-hmm. and milk, that was an act. That wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Your people just made that up. He said that in an interview. He's like, I love the imagination that was not intended. The actress just had cereal and milk. And, and chose to eat them separately. Well, why did you, like, close in on it, like, with her just eating it separately? That's the magic of a great director. Is it? 